Bring it up. I'll be on you. Ghana's former president, Jerry John Rawlins, the son of a Scottish father and Ghanaian mother, led two coups as a senior officer in the Ghana Air Force. First in 1979, after which he handed over to a civilian government, and then two years later, after his first coup attempt, he was sentenced to death, but he escaped to overthrow the country's military government. He headed the military junta until the introduction of multi-party elections in 1992, when he was first elected president. In 2001, his second term completed and he resigned from office. As president, he oversaw the execution of several former heads of state and army generals for corruption, but expressed some regret about the killings. Later, the execution by firing squad of Supreme Court judges also left a stain on his legacy. But Rawlins' reputation on foreign policy received a boost when he acted as a key figure in a mediated peace settlement between factions in nearby Liberia, a nation burdened by five years of civil war. He also boosted Ghana's international image by contributing many of its troops to UN peacekeeping operations in Sierra Leone, Lebanon and Iraq. During this time, Ghana and Nigeria continue to consult on economic, political and security issues affecting the two countries and West Africa as a whole. Between early August 1994, when Rawlins became ECOWAS chairman, and the end of the following October, the Ghanaian president visited Nigeria three times to discuss the peace process in Liberia and measures to restore democracy in the country. I think so. So we can have some ventilation. He also introduced free market reforms to boost Ghana's suffering economy and ushered in a long period of political stability that continues today. In later years, Rawlins campaigned for African nations to have their international debts written off. And in 2010, he was named as the African Union envoy to Somalia. While critics accuse him of torture, corruption and worse, to his supporters, he brought order, security and prosperity to Ghana.